Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of That Nerdy Site Plays Hitman 3. Uh, coming here with the fourth round of featured contracts from featured content creators. Uh, we started out with MinMax, then we went on to Kinda Funny, then last time around we did Easy Allies, and now we're up to the Eurogamer contracts. I think after I recorded the Easy Allies one last time, they announced that they're doing an oncoming slate of DLC featured uh, or centered around the Seven Deadly Sins. So I'm very much looking forward to those and just kind of, I, like, I, I love that Hitman just keeps giving me fun stuff to play around with in, uh, in their little sandboxes. So let's hop in and see what the Eurogamer team has for us this time around. These are all taking place in the Mendoza map, i.e. Argentina, uh, i.e. the Vineyard. So yeah, let's see. Uh, so this first one, it looks like the level 2 helmets, uh, we're taking out, it looks like the band, um, so the briefing here. Unbelievable! The band that was supposed to play at Ian Higton's 23rd birthday has accidentally double booked, so they've cancelled on him last minute. Party ruined. Teach the level 2 helmets a valuable lesson in not messing with Team Eurogamer by gatecrashing the rival shindig and blowing them to smithereens. The contract was created by a member of the Hitman community known as Ian Higton of Eurogamer. So it wants me to take these guys out via an explosion, ideally with no recordings and by and avoiding collateral damage. So, oops, uh, so let this. If I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do some exploding. I suppose I should take in some explosives. Let's do a remote here. Let's, let's go ahead and smuggle in. Yeah, smuggle into the cinema. A second explosive. This one. A proximity explosive. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how this goes. Probably, probably bad, because it's going to be exploding stuff in a very very densely populated area of the game. The dance floor. So, yeah, it's probably isn't going to go well. She's been living uh, alone here for what? Yeah. Six First thing years. to do, go grab party invitation over here. Mr. Yates, it's Aaron, sir. Pop from that the in. I came as quickly as I could. Appreciate, though, that since we're going down to the dance floor, there isn't like a, a frisk check. May I see your invitation, please? Yeah, there you go. There's Gracias, my... senor. Enjoy the party. Here's my invitation. So yeah, gotta take out those guys. Again, via an explosion. I think they're just like spread just far enough that one ain't gonna do it. <laughs> so that's Tony Yates. Let's go grab that. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me prepare. That's right. Figure my strategy here is going to be try and take him out with the remote explosive, and if that just knocks somebody out instead of I was like, an kills them, I will try and quickly decades, throw the the, now, the proximity explosive out there I serve to finish the job. Grander. I serve the land, and the land of Mendoza longs to me. I thing. grew up here. Whipped These majestic go. plains were my playground. I'm returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors. So they're not me. Incredibly profound. Yeah. Okay, so Corvo's coming back this way, so I'm just gonna like, hang out here in this crowd of people while he yeah. walks by. Excellent. Fake couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. I think my spoils are the most of guests in it. Okay, okay, okay. So fortunately, since this is a big old party, like nobody's really like out here trying to, you know, crap on my good time. Hey, Diana, what's up? Hey there, big guy. So yeah, these guys. Gotta try and take them out. Without. Like, without taking anybody else out. I guess that's easy enough. Nice to see you. At least on the stage area. But they are also, you know, surrounded by <laughs> guards overlooking them. 
this time, so... Yeah. I can't, like, climb up here, right? That's not a spot I can go to. The constant works in mysterious ways. Got... I just don't get his fascination with this Burnwood woman. She is okay. brilliant. Catching them in between songs. And so that's going to at least group them up together. So I can. Maybe I can. Uh, just try to. Nope, 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 nope. Don't be, don't be looking over here at me. Take them all out. Yeah! <laughs> like a cool guy, didn't look back at the explosion. <laughs> So I totally didn't see myself doing it, but I totally did it. And I escaped unscathed. Sneaky deek. Didn't even need the second one, so awesome. That's just a that's just a bonus treat for me, I guess. And now we're gonna sneak out there over exit through the vineyard. I was trying to kind of make my way out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe that band done, done blown up. Man, they probably really should have played that other gig. I think they would have had a better time there. Much less uh, explosive. Probably wouldn't have gone to pieces like they did here. <laughs> oh, Trevor, you're so silly. Was that the first attempt at this one? As far as you know it was, and not totally like a, I re started re-recording the episode <laughs> because, uh, because of two failed attempts prior. You don't know that. That's just hearsay. What do you mean expl- like, what do you mean explosion accident? I, like, I totally did that explosion accident. Did I, oh, did, like, is the detonation not an accident? I need to blow them up some other way. Whatever. I pretty clearly blew them up. I guess explosion accident would probably be what? The microphone? I need to get them to be taken out that way. Whatever. Next mission. Next mission, we have Happy Hour Murder Wine. All right. Mischievous workers on the Vigneto Yates production line have been adding fish bits to the wine that Zoe Delahunty Light ordered for the next Happy Hour Tavern Time. Give the culprit something to whine about <laughs> by throwing them all in the grape crusher. Oh, just, yep, throw them all in the grape crusher. Okay. Another contract by Ian Higton of your okay. So, looks like, yeah, so, fall accident is the optional elimination, but it sounds like it wants me to throw them all in the, in the, the Grape Crusher, so we'll do that. Uh, wants me to do it in the wine, vin, winery worker outfit, so I'll go ahead and, I mean, I'll, in order to kind of set myself up for success there, I'll go ahead and start here. So I don't need... Explosives or anything this time. Get some coins for distractions, though. Do I have any? Do I want to? Worker's bathroom. I don't think I need anything else, but. Throw in uh, an audio remote distraction in case I need that, too. For sure. So I gotta take out five people in the Grape Crusher. So the trick is going to be getting them into the Grape Crusher without, like, anybody else, like, losing their shit. And I didn't even bother looking at all the complications and stuff like that. I'm sure there was a ton. Okay. So. Why are there so many... Why are there so many people out here that know I'm not who I, who I say I am? It seems... 
hostile. Everybody's super suspicious of everybody else. Okay, so yeah, it looks like four of my guys are in there. Where's where's my fifth? Hey, hey, what can I do for you? A tour of the facility at this hour? I didn't know we had investors come in. Oh, they're all there. Okay. I just hey, hey, with all the respect, we are about to harvest them all back. I hardly think this is the best. Hey, yo, what's up? My time. Fine. Say so. Who is the audience? Okay, so we have a screwdriver here. Let's see. Nice pick in there, don't need that. So fortunately, like while I'm in here, nobody's suspicious of me. <laughs> but I do have to take out Oh no, okay. One one of them is suspicious of me, so one of them is going to be the hassle. Take out the worker's key, sure. Banana too, why not? So that one's gonna be suspicious. And then they're also just going to be guards that are not going to be happy about me dragging bodies into the grave crusher. <laughs> so what to do about that? Here this fuse here. pissy with me. <laughs> the janitor knows I'm not supposed to. I'm not who I say I am. Right. There's a armed guard over there, so let me knock him out, I guess. This buddy's coming downstairs and he's going to be all... Hey, what are you doing? Things to hide these guys in here, so. Might want to keep an eye hmm. Yeah. Be a little tricky. Well, he's just mopping up most up there. There. Safety mechanism. Notary person first, I guess. But what to do with her once I've got her knocked out? Bottle of the head. <laughs> so they're knocked out at least. And yeah, that's gonna be a little suspicious, I guess. If somebody else has seized the thing, so. so a little bit out of the line of sight of that person up there. Okay. Now nobody else is just gonna be like bugging me just to bug me. So. That person would be Come back up here. If you knock me out over there. Uh -huh. uh, anybody there? Hope you're not gonna see <laughs> your buddy down there that is also. So 
this armed guard guy is gonna be a little bit of a problem here. <laughs> So that I can immediately knock out the other guy. Can someone please come on, come on. help me? Get, the, get, I need help here. Get back here. Get back here. Nope, 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 nope. Nice try. Not today. You don't know that I'm like bringing the body over here. I'm starting to like rack up the uh the non-target kills or whatever, so oops. Deal with it. At this point, I might as well just like take out the guys who are actually going to <laughs> be big old problems for me. I shot him right in the head. <clears throat> Grr. It's such weird, weird things that the, the thing decides to censor. Fucking is fine, but bullshit gets the stars. All right, attempt number two. Let's try and. Like at this point, I'm not. Just to get like all five of those guys in there without like getting caught or taking anybody else out. Seems like that's gonna be like just way too much fun. And I guess I can keep still trying it like sneaky wise, but I don't expect it to go well. Pick up an apple here. The bathroom there. Guy down there. Go ahead and get him distracted over there with the coin. Take him out. Come on, come on, drop down. Go. Dude is knocked out.
Okay. Tidy stuff. So he, how do you operate it? I'm a bit of a grease monkey in my spare time. Not my area, friend. The control terminal is up in the security room if you want to take a look. Just don't touch it. One of the guards placed a smoke BLT sandwich near the ventilation filter. The whole facility smelled of bacon for a week, and Mrs. Yates is a vegan. He does not work here anymore. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So. Take that guy out and take. Nope. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck you. Knock you out with a damn apple. What the? Damn it. Down here. Stop. Do not be seen this time. Thank you, you jerk. So I'm gonna grab a fuse there. Come on, I'm gonna be able to get my wrench back. Oh well. I didn't really need it in the first place. You actually. I think you'll be fine if I drop it out there. You're not gonna die, right? There you go. Nope. So no non-target kill there. I could definitely just go on a rampage with the shotgun. <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that. Don't want the screwdriver accidentally equipped. <laughs> I guess I can grab you, toolbox, and do some wacky whack. Right, so I'm gonna have to get like two of those guys just kind of like away from everybody else. <laughs> and then just still somehow get everybody else out of here. Respond to that music that I've just turned on up here. It is a drowning? That's a weird that's a weird kill, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely have no idea how I'm gonna get those guys like out without without the other ones not noticing, so. Like sometimes you just gotta kind of not care. Get you over in here. I can 
throw you in the uh, in the recycle bin. They're definitely not gonna want me having this gun, so. Drop that bad boy. And then get this guy. Also lured over here with some coin goodness. Uh -huh. Dum de dum dum dum. Don't mind me, I'm just working on this toolbox. Do to do to do. Seems like, with the head of security out of the way, this should be a breeze. It won't be. I will still fail miserably, I'm sure. But at least the head of security is out of the way. <laughs> See what we can do to <laughs> yes. lure these other people away. Just do it like one by one. I'll take. I'll lure the. Ah uh, uh, yes. People to the forklift until I get the two that I need. <laughs> Snagging one that I actually oh, no. need this time around. That's just so annoying. Madre mía, que pesado. Still want to kill over there. Dum de dum de dum. That's gonna be an annoying bit of this let's play. I apologize to anybody who has the misfortune of watching these things. Terminated. Terminated you. Actually, I won't. You're one of the ones I keep alive. Congratulations. Dum de dum dum dum. All right. Okay, this last, last.
last one of these, last of ones that I don't need to kill. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that person all the way to the other, all the way to the Great Crusher <laughs> without, like, the people outside noticing. I'd probably be careful with that. Bodies. Got these people. So yeah. Okay, so I guess I can just take you out, right? Because everybody else is facing the other way. I just hope that everybody stays facing the other way. Don't don't look in here. Nope. Don't look in here. You dare. And then that guy needs to keep looking in his little workstation. Also not look over here. Okay. Alright, I guess I've got a pretty clear-cut path. I hope that I'm out of the like viewing range of those people. Because, I mean, they can clearly see me like <laughs> dragging a body, but... I guess they don't care that much. <laughs> They're not thinking too much of it. Let's so we'll unlock the safety mechanism. That's one body in there. Just gotta get the other three remaining. Appreciate there is a limit to the killing, uh, the, the target picking, because I did see that video making the rounds of the person dumping every single body in the Great Crusher, like for one massive crush, and that's just, whew, that is a lot. Body number three. Drag this guy. Mr. Mechanic this time around. Not a, a, a vineyard worker on this one, I guess. I like that I guess they still have like the the caveat of hey don't kill Diana. <laughs> like that's still a rule of the mission since she's up there in blue. I mean fair point. Okay. And just one more to go. If I'd been more patient. Could have. I, I like. I like that I didn't wait to drag the other guy up down the stairs, though, because that would have been that would have been the longest of the bunch, because I would have had to get him around the vat, and then, oops, and then just like across the the hallway over here and all that stuff. So, Let's just get this last body over here. Guys, distracted by whatever he's working on. Great. Those guys are just n very nonchalantly watching me drag all the bodies in here. But they're also cool with it all, I guess. Maybe, maybe they just hate these guys. 
that's that's how I'm gonna justify it in my head. It's like those guys are not in on the whatever the the little mischief these this crew was working on. So there we go. Exit, same exit as the last one. Gotta kind of sneak my way out of the vineyard here. Either of those guys are being judgy. It's just, it's just all of like the coworkers out here that are like, "Hey, you don't look like a migrant laborer." I guess they're not really migrant workers here if we're in Argentina, aren't they? Well, I gotta find a path out of here, I guess. That doesn't uh, piss anybody off. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important. Dum -da dum dum dum. Those guys are fine with me. That guy's not fine with me, but I think I can sneak out before he cares. Yep, there we go. All right. Number two, down. Not great. Took a little while. And I only took, I took out four of the five people the way I was supposed to, with the great pressure. But it doesn't even, like, see, it says optional eliminate using a fall. But you told me to use the great pressure. So make up your damn mind. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go on to mission three. These Euro gamer people. Maybe fall means something different in Europe. I don't know. Icebreaker. The Eurogamer cross dice breaker feud really kicked up a notch last week when Wheels, aka Spears here, Joseph Spears looks like is the target, and Lollies, aka whoever McDonald, poured a pint of paint water all over Aoife Wilson's brand new laptop. Put an end to the beef once and for all by rolling a nat 20 with a sniper rifle and delivering a crit to each of their heads. Gain a plus one buff to your deck stat and a free hotel on Mayfair if you use a different rifle for each target. All right. Um, all shots are headshots. Targets only. No recordings. All that stuff. So, I mean, I can... So, there's a sniper rifle already in the attic. If I have a second one smuggled up there, use the one from the... Uh, my, my DLC stuff, and then I could start at this sniper rifle. Yeah, we start at this sniper rifle, so I got I will have like three sniper rifles to choose from. So sure, let's see how this goes. I'm guessing these are just like a couple of random party goers. Huh. The rich scratch their asses too when they think nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be crude. Pay attention. Yates wants us on high alert. We've been at yep. this for like months. Two people at the Ever since the 1% killings began, nothing's gonna happen. I know. When you start thinking like that, that's when it does. Who are we on the lookout for anyway? Yates didn't say. Get if I just take that right stand right? by for a picture ID and a kill order. I guess not. <laughs> I guess they do not care if I just grab the rifle. Uh oh, that guy definitely knows I'm not who I say I am. Let him walk the other way. And I sneak my way out of here. Addy! Avoid anybody else who knows I'm not who I say I am. Oh, I like that guy. That guy. Yeah. Got this sniper rifle. Right. 
And I just gotta get up to the attic of the villa to get the other two sniper rifles. Oh, you guys don't care about me. And are you gonna care, buddy? Yeah, you guys aren't gonna let me up pass, are you? Sorry, sir, I can't yeah. let you through, okay? All right. the area. Dum -dum 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 -dum. There, I passed the stealth check, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. Probably keep something weird inside. Weird? Like how? All my clients have kept something weird in their safes, especially when it's a basement safe. Basement safe. Don't you remember? The juice was a huge I... hangout. Hmm, thanks. You can always try and guess the passcode. It's never hard. Usually it's the first one, first day. Okay. Got somebody who's about to walk out that door. So don't want to let them see me. Alright. So I can sneak back in, sneak in through here. There's great, so I can got a clear path up to the attic now. Passing all sorts of dexterity checks and crits and stuff. Grab Yates's car keys in case I want to use that as my act. Okay, so we've got there's my other sniper rifle option. The last one is right in that suitcase. Great. So let us see my targets now. Okay, so one of them is out on the dance floor, and this other one is. Okay, so that's the guy who's kind of hanging out under the tent, so I gotta wait for him to make his way out. And then the lady is over there, just out of view. Lame. Hmm. Let me retrieve my white Seeger gun. Got that sniper rifle, right, bad boy. Okay. Yeah, he's just not. Ooh, she's visible there now. Okay. So. Oh, damn it. <laughs> she moved at just the right second. Oh, there we go. Took one out. So now I just gotta take out the other guy. No idea where I am, so that's great. There's the other guy coming right into. Oh no, he's, now he's into view. Okay. Is he going down? Nope. Oh, good, he's coming upstairs. Is he? Wait, what's he doing? Panicking alongside everybody else, it looks like. There's railing. Can I get him through the railing? This would definitely be a critical roll level shot. Boom! Flawless victory. <laughs> All right. Nice. That went way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Definitely got that, uh, those dexterity rolls on lockdown, I guess. Uh-oh. Somebody's up here. Oh. 
The wife is up here. And there's the husband. And shit, 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 shit. What the? Oh. Don't mind me. <laughs> out the wife as a distraction. <laughs> now they know who, now they have no idea who I was targeting. Oh, I was supposed to do that in suit. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna not get any of these like perfectly. I mean that's pretty much been my MO on this whole thing anyway. Cool, unlocked a new thing. Yeah, I don't know if I've done any of these kills like 100% the way I was supposed to do them <laughs> across any of these Let's Plays. Oops. All right. We've got Imposter Syndrome, a two-parter. Imposter Syndrome Part 1. Uh, we're going to have to... Okay, so I'll need the fiber wire, so let me go ahead and uh, swap that in. Uh, there we go, fiber wire. Cool. And I'll, snug, I'll, I'll smuggle in my uh, my coins in case I need them for distraction time. But so the objectives here. So taking out Corvo and Mikhail Kadir. So Corvo's the you know wannabe assassin guy that I that you can kind of like become in the in the game. Uh, it has come to our attention that a team of rogue assassins has been impersonating IC agents. This cannot be allowed to continue. The imposters, Agents Wilson, De La Hunty Light, and Higton, aka Agent 32, were spotted entering Argentina, but their whereabouts are currently unknown. We have, however, tracked their associates to a party in Mendoza. Get up close and personal with weapons dealer Gavard, Gavin Gifford, aka Kadir, uh, and master thief the Nightcat Black. Find out what they know, and then silence them. Okay. Uh, so I wanted, I'm supposed to take out Kadir as a waiter and, and Corvo in the suit. So Corvo in the suit's going to be easy enough. All right. Yeah, let's, let's dive on in for imposter syndrome part one. Part one. Once again, we'll go ahead and get six years. Ever since the our invitation to the party. Mr. Yates, it's Aaron, sir, from the firm. Okay. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have a The Yates is a genuinely Sorry. crazy so There's Mikhail up top and Corvo's in the Benidos bottom section. Benidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Yep, there you go. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Enjoy the party. Musicians, you guys are looking splendid. And totally hmm. not blown up. It's the damnedest thing. You got guy over there. Okay, so yeah, there's Corvo. You just gotta take him out in the suit. Corvo, got a message from the so boss. It'll be easier when he's further along in his story trajectory. So I can go down here, pick up my coins, while I wait for him to progress forward a little bit. I'm gonna have to become a waiter for the other one. I was I'm sure I'll find one of them outfits four decades I somewhere conveniently long. upstairs. Now, I serve something far grander. I serve the land. There we go. Got and the, the land of Mendoza. I grew up here. Actually. These majestic plains were my playground. And returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors feels just incredibly profound. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Screw you, camera. You are carefully nurtured grapes. All right, whatever. And picked with loving care by local experts. We have only one purpose. Make the best wine in Plan A. One where I don't send a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realize the... Huh? 
Mr. Yates. Some idiot. Yeah, I got your message. Bad. You aren't telling me what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. I'll check it out. Alright, so they're definitely yeah. on the lookout for me. <laughs> In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. Nice on the tour or after. Okay, so he's gonna come over this way and I can lure him in here with my Does that mean it's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight. How am I supposed to take him out? Fiber wire. Okay. Who exactly is this woman and how she's pitching on your parade? Oh, and then I just need to become a waiter and take that guy out. But if I'm gonna be one of these heralds, then start letting you in on I guess now I'm gonna have to friggin' clear the tape. Because I stupidly went through that door <laughs> that I did not need to go through <laughs> at all. Framed an urban legend before. Very post-truth. Yeah. All right, all right, Corvo. Yeah, yeah. You think you're so clever, but you're about to die, so just come over here and get it over with. Okay, I'm on, Corvo. Oh. There you go. I can even sneak out of there. Well, that was. Oh, okay, okay. No. The wrong guy is coming to check out. Right? Hey? So that's annoying. not too shabby. <sighs> hmm? Screw you, you dumbass guard guy. Oh, huh. Corvo, come check that out. What the hell was that? It was your death calling. Okay. Oh yeah, you got my versatile assassin thing done. Because for some reason, pushing somebody into the uh, the wine vat counted as a drowning. All right, so now I gotta become a waiter and take out that guy. So, so what I was trying to do, I think, is. I thought there was like a waiter outfit down here. Or a waiter that like came down here. But maybe I'm just remembering that wrong. Whatever the case may be. Not just a punk line. I've gotta go kill the video recording stuff anyway, so. I saw the photos of the new rose gun. Um, PTSD, huh? I'm wicked smart, and yet I find myself in these situations all the time, just... Uh, I don't know. How am I going to tell my dad that I... I like the... I like the Yankees. Oh my gosh. You got bigger problems, dude. Security guys. Is there anything wrong with what I'm doing here, sir? At least he's having a good time. Let me see. Best way to try and. Uh, uh, he's not the I guess it's probably going to be way one is uh -huh. picking the guards yeah, off one by one. Some kind of commotion down here. I'm having a look around. Oh, 
cool. Totally right. Please give me my money back. A waiter's outfit, which I totally can do. It's right over here. I believe there's a waiter right through with these other doors. He was hardly the only talent in the field. I guess he's upstairs. Upstairs? Where is he? Oh, upstairs, yeah. Throw you in this locker here. There you go. Just become a waiter. Fulfill my life's long dream. Grab some pen Pinot Noir, because why not? Tell me you did it, Papa. Tell me you did it, Papa. And I just gotta I didn't forget the other Get that guy distracted somehow. A place where I can eliminate him. Hi again, Diana. What is up? What are we supposed to Huh? Okay. Just find another door. Don't care how. Or with a laughing stock. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on. Oh, it's totally me. Sorry. Oh, damn it. <laughs> People totally saw me doing that. That was dumb of me. Well, whatever. I'll just take out... There. You're gonna be way more bothered by that guy <laughs> being dead than you are this waiter that I knocked out in full view of anybody. Manny Russo, Goldberg and Partners. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just knock yourself out there too, buddy. Oh, it's her, all right. I'm all good right. with faces. Let me go hop back into my uncompromised outfit. <laughs> this one won't get up anytime soon. She's dead, yeah. Let's go for murder. Uh, which is back in the bathroom. That's what it is. What's happening? Or I can go be the security guard again. Get Nothing your head down. Well, I know I'm compromised, but like, who else knows I'm compromised? That's really the question. Oh, 
There, I'm not compromised anymore. Hooray! So I just duck out of the vineyard. Imposter syndrome. Fascist movement promoting meritocratic. All right, douchiest sounding guy at the party. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, now I can duck through here because the security camera doesn't care. I'm here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors seems just incredibly profound. Our goal here at Vigetta Yates is simple. From our state-of-the-art winemaking facility to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts. Just running through a vineyard, don't mind me. I got a tip that there's a guy fleeing the scene, and he's the guy that killed that dude upstairs. You know how I know that tip? Because I'm the guy. Yeah. All right, four down. One to go. Let's finish strong here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how I would have conveniently got that guy via fiber wire, so whatever. All right. Exit the main menu. One to go. Imposter Syndrome Part 2. Cool. Already I'm enjoying that I'm going to have to use a, a broadsword to take this guy, <laughs> to take out one of these people, but to take out the wife, Valentina Yates. Thanks to data recovered from the last targets, we have learned that the imposters are on site and undercover right now. It goes without saying that all three must be eliminated before they can complete their mission. To send a strong message to other potential copycats, each target must be taken out with their signature weapon. Agent Wilson, aka Vidal, favors knives. Agent De La Hunte Light, Yates, is a dab hand with a sword, while Master of Chaos Agent 32, Ford Jr., deals primarily in explosions. This contract was created by Ian Hinton, your neighbor. Alright, so this guy's the lawyer who's right up front. Um, so uh, I suppose I can take them out with a, just with a quick explosive right at the top. Uh, then I need to go get this, get one of the swords from in the house for Valentina, and then a knife, a combat knife for Tamar Vidal. I have no idea where combat knives even are in this one. So, I guess I should probably bring it with me, maybe? Question mark? Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, so there's a combat knife. Bring a combat knife with me. And... Okay. And I can do... An explosive. Yeah, let's just... Let's use this, uh... Explosive I just picked up, I guess. And in case I need it... I'll dump the lock picks here. Actually, yeah, no. I'll dump the lock picks in, in the cinema in case I need it. Okay, so I'm going in with a combat knife and the explosive ready to go. So the explosive I'm going to need first for Aaron there. It's all any disguise, so that's good. The combat knife for Tamara is going to be probably a little trickier on the tough side of things. You've been living alone here for, what, six years? Oh, and I've got a time loop on this one. Mr. Yates? Awesome. It's Aaron, sir, from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the file. 
Sorry it took so long, but I've had to access our remote server to print everything. Wait I, for I couldn't Yates get my VPN to... to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll, I'll be right here inside. so I can knock him out while he looks at the bird, and then just completely blow him up from there, I guess. Oh my lord, is this the... Oh! So, ooh, let us totally just throw that right in there. Hmm. I'm sorry to burst your bubble of fine Yates. What was that sound? Well, the Yates is again oh, shit. But Oops. despite the persistent... <laughs> oh, oh, why are people... Why are people suddenly super on the lookout for me? Damn it. Not great. <laughs> well, this isn't... This isn't going well at all. Have a security breach. Just get out of our way, okay? Okay, well, I took... I took that person out. Excuse me, senor. You can't leave that lion around here. All right, fine. I'll bring it in with me. Whatever. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. So, I've got the combat knife for Vidal if I want to just eliminate her here I'm here for the tourists. Ah, yes. Miss Vida. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. You think? PTSD, huh? Burnwood flying sword. You buy it? I want to. Um, Hello there. No idea if I'm going to need to do anything with this, but just in case. Oh my God! Hey, you! What seems to be the problem here? Hey, we've got a situation, buddy. Probably some punk kid making life miserable for everyone. Buddy, guys, I'm one of you. I'm right, a security you guard go. just yeah, like you. Supplies, you don't need to keep searching. Relics and treasures in case like this. Did you even know? Uh, ah, what the I definitely shot him right in the head. We're just, it's a messy one. We're going messy for this one. I'm fine with that. Try to get inside that safe back there? Of course. I'm sure. Get the broadsword and stuff that I need. 
Right, I think the broadsword's in the attic. I have no idea what these are. Sword completely ready to go. Nope. Okay, so I want to want to throw the broadsword down there to to get it downstairs, I guess. Somehow, how do I get the broadsword downstairs? <laughs> there we go. And I just gotta okay, the wife is up here. Great. Super handy here. Oh, except he wanted me to throw it here. Whatever. There. Consider it thrown. <laughs> okay, the uh, husband is definitely coming up, so... Gotta get out of here real quick. going to happen. Alright, so now I'm just going to get my combat knife over to what's her butt. Uh, okay. Why is everybody suddenly, suddenly, exactly no? Oh, fuck you. stuff, but whatever. Got 14 minutes to... Oh, damn it, and I don't have my... my Jeez, shit. I'm glad you didn't bother looking downstairs as you were coming downstairs. That would have been really inconvenient for me. And you're gonna be the same way, aren't you, dude? I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. Gotta like sneak into a different costume somehow. And maybe if I see Ah oh, damn it, Vidal's all the they they threw Vidal all the way to the other side of the map. Damn it. Okay. Well, then fuck it.
you go get that money. Beard. Hey, what was that noise? Ah, oh, great. Now, oh damn it, that was my last coin. All right, um, well, I'll get that. Huh? Sir. Ah! Okay. Waiter gives me a little more leeway around here. And just gotta I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edwards' decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Oh. Go look into that. Check yes. War. Come look into that. So that I can take you out, and then I can use my combat knife to take her out. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'd be super happy with that. Why are you here, bro? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Thing is, nobody held a gun to your head. What? Did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I'll say. Learn combat knife. All right, now I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> just get the hell out of here. Unfortunately, nobody saw me. So yeah, I just gotta exit. Is there only one exit? Is it only letting me flee by a, via boat for this one? Only one exit is active. Damn it, okay. Yep, so I gotta... Where's the boat key? I don't remember where the boat key is. But I've got nine minutes and 44 seconds to... Google find it. <laughs> that's right, that looks like that's the boat exit. Well, I Google Mendoza boat key. And then has your boat the dock, you gotta have a key. Just tell me where the damn key is. You're Christ. super cool with your wife having been murdered up there, but okay. I don't know. You probably keep something weird inside. <laughs> weird? Like how? All my clients have kept something weird in their safe, especially when it's a basic safe. Basic safe. I like more special. It's always So it looks like this thing just says that the boat key is just there in the shed. So I can hopefully just sneak in, grab it. And duck out. Just 
think about just picking your clothes and leaving your place? Going? Not really. I can't think of anywhere I'd go in that case. You go anywhere specific, right? No, that's the villa key. There's the book key. Wander, dock at a village for supplies every few days, but just travel. Definitely just give me a nice, uh, pretty helping of weapons here. All five of the Eurogamer featured contracts done and dusted. Very, very messy. <laughs> uh, only oh, I was supposed. To... Yeah, I took I took him out through an explode. Whatever, whatever. I don't know what an explosive accident. Was. I guess the like the uh, the heaters when you blow them up and stuff like that. Whatever. Intentional explosions are fine too, you know. It was an accident to him. Anyway, uh, so that is going to do it for this episode of That Nerdy Site Plays Hitman 3. I've been your host, Trevor Starkey. You can follow me at Trevor J. Starkey on Twitter. You can follow all of the stuff we do over at That Nerdy Site. Uh, and then, yeah, stay tuned here on the YouTube for new Let's Plays that go live every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we're in the throes right now of It Takes Two. Uh, that was this last episode. Uh, went up with Logan and I playing It Takes Two, so you go check that out. Uh, we will probably return with that next week. Uh, and yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So as always, stay nerdy and be good to each other. <laughs> <laughs>